Well, I think there are a lot of um, wider implications of this story. I mean, we see all over the world today um, questions about security versus freedom. Um, so, you know, every time there's a terrorist a attack in our global community, we ask the question, are we being uh, careful enough, disciplined enough about the kinds of immigrants we let, let into our country? Are we punishing those people that are involved properly? Uh, on the other side, are we preventing um, people from getting into situations where they'll want to create acts of terrorism? So that's, um, you know, we're looking in, uh, Freddie, at the situation in Montreal North where there's a lot of uh, economic problems. A lot of poverty, a lot of high school dropout rates, uh, or high, dro high school dropout rates, um, a lot of uh, unemployment, and so it's not surprising that we might see crime rates there and an, an tension between the police force and the local community. Um, but I think probably the most important issue that's brought up in the piece is about racial profiling. If we look south of the border today, there have been a number of issues that have uh, come up in terms of uh, are, is there equal justice for people of different races in communities like ours and you know after Freddie Villanueva was killed there was a massive uh, riot in uh, the neighborhood of Montreal North that suggested that a critical mass of people there felt that they were being unfairly treated by the police officers so this is not a question that's gone away it continues to haunt us as a society it came up during the student riots um, what is the role of the police force in our society and how are we managing to keep um, a sort of stable rule of law in our communities?